Hi friends, in our part 1 of this we have seen how we created this menu, colors and uh, change the font style, everything and uh, we have seen also various options and methods. Now we will see how we create a sub menu like this. You can see I have pulled another sub menu has come up. Now also we will see by on click of any uh, command or any item from this menu, I will be able to open a child window also. We will see that part now. This is our basic uh, window with all those menus and all. We can just see this also, but we have not added any sub menu to this. We'll add that to this now. So this is uh, we have discussed everything in our previous video. Now we'll move towards adding a sub menu to this. Now just find out the location. Say we want the menu to be after uh, say save as. So here we'll try to put it here. So let me first declare it what it is now i am declaring a sub menu menu sub equal to tk dot menu it's the instant of menu item now what is the parent menu it should be linked with so i will say menu file because this menu file is our file menu which is at the left side of it and this next one is the edit one so we want it to be a sub menu of file now we'll say tier of tier of equal to you can say any one and we have all discussed what is a tier of tier of you can just take it out the menu from the detach it and uh, use it also now just for our uh, understanding or other options let's say bg equal to green will say or you can give any color to this this is the background color we are setting now this menu sub now will say menu file add mean this is the menu file is our uh, sorry here it is menu file this is the already the menu which is our file menu to this we are adding add cascade you are not adding a command it's a difference here it's a command means you are adding a new open save save as all those who are command now it is a cascade now we'll say it must read something so it should read label and we'll say that it will open up sub one sub one then what it is the important thing is menu equal to now we'll say menu sub we are telling that this is a sub menu here you treat it as sub menu and give the label as sub one here we are written so sub one will appear in the main menu or the file menu then over that that uh, sub menu will appear once the mouse clicks that so let me just move up a bit here so now in our menu sub sorry uh, menu sub will add a command now because there also you want command so add command fine Le uh, add command means now label we have to give that what label it should be it's a sub menu label we are giving not main menu so sub one one fine that's that's uh, and but because it's item we'll also give a command to this let's put it a command equal to now my function whatever you want you usually will have a different so it is that now let's just i'll just copy this and place because one more i want so sub one two i'll keep the label as sub one two so this is what the code i have added I started from here declared it then cascade i told from the main menu that there is a sub menu and two items i have added one two these two items i have added so let me save this go and run once so you can see now here is my sub menu and this is sub menu all the things are there can you add one more sub menu to this suppose this again one more sub menu we'll try that we'll create the instant first so we'll say menu sub 2 we're giving a new name to this this equal to tk dot menu now <coughs> this is a uh, this is of our menu sub menu sub now tier of equal to let's i will not put one here now bz equal to red let me let background should be red so this is what actually we are yeah here so sub menu we are going to add to our one sub menu okay so 
here this will just follow this at the top what it did it should be added to our sub menu not the menu file so sub menu is menu sub so we'll say menu sub sorry add cascade now what should be the label label should tell that it is a sub menu so we'll say sub 2 now you can see here sub 2 and now we'll connect it to that so we'll say menu equal to menu sorry menu underscore sub 2 so this is how we are we have connected it now this you, you can just follow the top lines also now we'll add command or add the uh, items to that particular uh, sub menu so we'll add one menu sub 2 now we'll say add command because this is what we are going to add so label what label will it label will say because it's a sub menu so sub 2 1 so and if you want something to happen with this once the user click you can add that now we are adding my sorry my function here so all are common now i'll just copy this and paste it here so this is sub i'll make it the labeler sub 2 2 so this is where we have declared it then we have linked it to our sub menu whereas in the earlier case we have linked it to our file menu because it's a sub menu of file menu now it's a sub menu of of the sub menu so we are linked it here then we have added two commands now let's run this i have saved it now i am running it so here somewhere I have here here I did a mistake B E L here also here again sorry fine I am just saving this now running again hmm. okay so here it is now sub one now here the sub menu appears now this is the sub sub menu for us and we have given background as red so it is appearing this is how we can cascade menus or uh, sub menus we can add now we'll move to open a child window to open the child window we'll use one of our item of sub menu so we'll change this to child this is the label we have changed only now in the command i'll write it my child because but it's not declared so i'll be declaring it now before that i must import it from tick enter import all fine now i what i will do i will create one if my child my child function i am declaring it here inside that now my w my window is parent now child this is the variable name only so i am giving defining it as a, a child window so I'll say top label. Now I'll say top label of parent window is my w. My w is here at line number three. I am declaring. I am telling that this child window is a parent, a child of parent window. So fine. Now that I have declared it. Now let me just give some size to it. Child dot geometry is is uh, whatever size you want to give. Give it. 200 by 200 I am just giving some dimension to it now similarly child title you can write whatever title you want I have just written it now let me create one string variable because we will be declaring some let's put some text so you can you expand it further as per your requirement i am my str1 equal to tk dot string var so this is a string variable i have declared it now let's create one label also so i'll place the string variable inside that dot label so now where it is now my it's it's in the child window so not in the parent window so i am declaring that here now it's a now text variable 
text variable i am connecting it to my str1 so my str1 is my string variable i have to place it on the grid now so l1 grid row equal to 1 column equal to 1 you can give some pad x let's say 10 now pad y uh, equal to let's put 30 whatever you are this is just uh, it should not flush with the left and top edge so i'm moving it slightly towards right and from the top edge you can adjust these values based on how it looks so now let me just connect it so my str1 dot set now i'll say hi i am the i child window fine that's all so this should uh, open up the child window and give the message let's just run it and see how it looks or any mirror how oh, sorry sorry there is a mistake actually i did what i did is i have to use a lambda here because otherwise by default it runs so that's a learning in fact you can come down here where is my child my child here here you give lambda fine now on opening it will not run okay this is my parent window i know i have connected it to what i have written i have written sub 2 okay here below sub 2 child if i click child yeah, i am the child window so this open up so this is how we will connect to a child window create a sub menu and all and uh, that's all this i think part one we have uh, studied all details of the menu you can refer to that and uh, i'll request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell notification so the you'll get all the messages whenever we add some uh, tutorials to our uh, uh, channel and uh, please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon and thank you for watching